I don't know how many of you have uh, have heard this uh, famous Henry Ford uh, thing that he went across. Uh, he was asked how did he, um, you know, why he didn't do any research uh, before inventing the the car. You know, so he went across saying that uh, if I would have asked consumers, they would have said they need faster horses. You know, so um, so then a qualitative researcher actually went across to him and he said that if you would have employed us. Uh, we would have let you know that the people don't need faster horses. They need less horse shit, and they need place to actually dump their dead horses. You know, so um, so essentially, uh, with that note, um, we want to talk about this uh, this interesting uh, piece that we did with uh, with Michael from OCBC Bank, um, and Michael would yeah would would, would move ahead. Yeah, so hi everyone. Um, the average consumer in this market has six credit cards in their wallet. Six credit cards. So when I was given the challenge to launch yet another shopping card in the market, we knew a few things. We knew that the card had to be compelling. The card had to be competitive. But also, the customer had to be at the heart of the proposition if we were to stand a chance in launching a successful card in this uh, saturated market. Okay, so we uh, actually worked together with Nielsen and uh, the task was, okay, I have to launch a shopping cart. How do we do it? So what we did was, we actually began talking to the super consumers to understand what does their shopping journey look like. So we mapped out the end-to-end -end shopping journey. We began to identify their pain points at pre during and post shopping. We unearthed uh, their pathways to purchase and we began to understand what are the key influences behind a customer spend, whether it's offline or online. And we also began to test their appetite for a new shopping card in this market. Okay, so at the exercise, we clearly articulated the problem statement. But the challenge was, how do we solve for it? And that's when our friends at Nielsen helped us get to that solution point. Yep, so, um, so essentially, um, we knew that, uh, that to look into the future, we need, to, uh, we need to do something different, because otherwise we will possibly hear the same, uh, the same story that we have been hearing. And and there is this growing community. Do, do you guys know the, the, the biggest growing community within the qualitative research community? They're called as FGD bashers. Okay. So essentially, we knew that, uh, we knew that you know, I mean, the, the, the conducting the same focus group discussion in the same ways is not going to help. And, and, and then we started digging and we found out that, I mean, we, a, a focus group essentially consists of three things, isn't it? The consumer you talk to, uh, the moderator who talks to them, and the content you use uh, to guide through the discussion, isn't it? So essentially, if we are uh, bashing FGDs, the problem is somewhere between these three, you know. So essentially what we did is that um, we said that let's not go across uh, talking to the consumer uh, in blank, asking them, um, you know, what do, they, what do they seek, what are their pain points, et cetera, et cetera. But we said that let's see, if, let's see if, if, if there are consumers who are already ahead of the curve, you know. I mean, if there are consumers who are, who are possibly doing things which may actually uh, make some themes that we can then go across to the mass consumers with. So may, we, met this, we met this consumer which we coin as, 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 as super consumers before we went ahead and uh, talked to the target consumers, you know. So, um, and, and what we also, so, so essentially that's what you see here, which is essentially we, we, we said that let's, let's, let's kind of see how the future looks like before we actually go across talking to the consumer, whether they would uh, want to own this future or not, you know, whether how do they react to this future. And then we helped, of course, we said that since we are partners in the crime, we'll not leave you just with insights, but we'll help you design the proposition and design the, um, the final product along with, along with us. So, so this, so th it's interesting, you know, I mean, we have been talking about super consumers. Who is a super consumer actually, you know? So if you go across and Google super consumer at the moment, um, it's a patented Nielsen terminology. Um, we, uh, what we did is that we looked at 140 categories data across the globe and we found that 10% uh, that of the consumers in any category, not just 
consumer packaged goods, but could be insurance, could be banking, could be um, could be could be generators, you know, electricity generators. Any category are actually responsible for 30 percent sales, 40 percent growth, and 50 to 60 percent profit. You know, so this is actually a this, these 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 consumers. Superconsumer is not a rocket science, isn't it? If I if I tell you the term superconsumer and ask you to define it, you'll possibly say a few things about him. You know, he's involved, he's engaged, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, that's true, but he's not just that. You know, I mean, when we found out through the analysis, we found that there is a lot more to these consumers in terms of who they are and what they can do for us. You know, so essentially, uh, we did some more analysis and we found out that that. Um, that if you do well with super consumers, you do well in the market, which is your brand share among super consumers and your brand share in the market is almost perfectly correlated, which means that if you don't engage super consumers, there is a high chance you may not, not, not engage the normal consumer. And, um, and this is interesting, you know, I mean, a super consumer of one category was also found to be a super consumer of at least nine other categories. And which kind of sounds, it sounds a bit intuitive, isn't it? A super consumer of a healthy cereal bars would possibly be a super consumer of baked fast cereals. Or, super consumer of other organic, gluten free, et cetera, stuff, you know, um, probably health and uh, wellness services and other things, you know, so this is, this is pretty much in line. So what we did is that uh, we actually, imp uh, we actually took this framework, uh, we sat down with OCBC, we defined how we would define a super consumer in this category within Singapore. And uh, from there, we actually uh, uh, coined a term called a super shopper, essentially, you know, super consumers is is, uh, is essentially a flexible concept, isn't it? A flexible framework. So we got super shoppers, and let's see if you are a super shopper, you know? So if you get four out of these five as yes, you are actually a super shopper, you know? I mean, do you friends believe that you have multiple sources of earning because all the CU is spending, okay? Uh, Monday to Friday you shop, and weekend you use for shopping all that you could. You are penny wise, pound foolish, and you are rather proud of that. Remember you forgot your wallet last time and you almost lost five kgs, five pounds of weight given the amount of cards you carry in your wallet. And best deals in the town just need to know you to actually get popular in the city. If any of these questions, if, if at least five of these, uh, four out of these five questions are yes for you, you are actually a super shopper. So what we did is that we engaged these super shoppers and we had a discussion with them um, over that phases of inspiring, informing and uh, and then co-created along with OCBC. Uh, Michael will, 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 will quickly talk about essentially what we found and how, how uh, the bank has actually gone ahead and started applying it. Yeah, so at this point of the uh, exercise, we identified the core emotional levers that are critical to a successful shopping cart proposition in this market. So we unearthed insights such as um, maximizing payoffs. So that was your ticket to play in this market. The super shopper, wanted true value in their credit card proposition. We also unearthed pain points around the online experience. So for all those online shopaholics in the room, um, there were concerns around price. If I buy something today and if I see it cheaper tomorrow, it actually discounts my whole shopping experience. There were concerns around e-commerce delivery. What happens if I buy something today online and I don't receive it or it's faulty? or it's not what I thought I bought. And so a few experiences here, great. Um, there are issues around personalized offerings. Make sure when you talk to me, it's the right offer for the right customer at the right time. So we assembled all these emotional levers. And with this, we began to bake our concepts. And together with Nielsen, we actually came up with three core shopping concepts. We then took these concepts back to the super shopper to stress test what they liked and what didn't like, and which concept fundamentally solved for their problem statement. And they were quick to either validate or eliminate. So the three concepts we came up with were the bespoke card, where customers can design their own reward program. The second concept was the sure card, where customers could set their own reward goals. And lastly, the Mojo card. Imagine a card where you can shop without the pain points and really enjoy the shopping experience. So when we spoke to our super consumers, they all hands down voted for concept number three, which is the Mojo card. So for all those super shoppers in the room, 
if you want a shopping card without the pain points, I think we've baked the right card for you. Now, the card is launching next week. Um, so next Monday, I urge all the super shoppers in the room to jump on OCBC.com and uh, apply for the, uh, the new super shopper card. Yeah, so essentially, um, it's interesting. Um, uh, the, the whole journey was, was very interesting in terms of, in terms of uh, trying to find out. Um, so do you guys believe you need a time machine to look into the time? You don't. You have a time machine. In fact, you have two of them, your eyes. The sun that you look at is actually eight minutes old. And the stars that you look at, they are actually at least five years old. Okay. So we don't need, so actually uh, there, is this, there is this famous um, uh, uh, fiction, um, uh, science fiction writer who has, I mean, this is the quote that I like the most amongst all that I have read. You know, I mean, he says the future is already here. It's just not very evenly distributed. You know, so you don't need to look into the time machine. You just need to look around somewhere and you'll possibly find uh, find the true inspirations and the insights, the kind of people we need, we talk to, you know, I mean, does, yes, target consumer does make sense, you know, the target user does make sense, but then um, will you see the future with the target user or you will actually get the growth from the target user, you know, I mean, that's the question. Possibly, the, possibly there is another consumer who is ahead of the target consumer who will actually give you the, the inspiration. So what we, as we talk, we are, I mean, uh, we are actually utilizing these um, these, this, this whole super consumer framework, you know, to convert them into super shoppers, super watchers, you know, so, so, um, you know, I mean, there are these guys who actually love watching advertising online, you know, so, so if you need to find out what makes them, what will make people stick to watch an advertising online, not skip through it, you actually need to go to super watchers, you know, we have super members, you know, so essentially it's the, and, and all across the cycle, all across your business cycle, in any business problem, um, which actually involves looking into the future, designing, developing, exploring uh, for something that is going to work ahead of the time. Um, this is the framework that we believe um, helps.